Hello everyone, in my previous video I explained how to generate a parameter file dynamically and in that video I explained how to create the parameter for one mapping or mapping task. But in, in this video I will explain how to generate the parameter file which will have parameters for multiple mappings. So at the end the parameter file will look like this. Start with use sections then at the end uh, it will have global parameters. And in between uh, the parameters will be there for uh, uh, multiple mapping tasks like you can see here uh, for this uh, emp uh, mapping task uh, this is the parameter for emp1 another parameter for emp2 uh, they have two parameters department and country code so the parameters changed for emp3 and emp4 mappings so to, the, to do that we have to create the param table it will have uh, three fields one is id then um, parameter name varchar2 2000 paramval varchar2 2000 then in this way one can insert the records insert into table values then the id then parameter name and parameter value and uh, once you insert the records the table data will look like this it will have id param name param val and in the beginning uh, id 1 then use section yeah, and has use section so will be there uh, in the beginning then at the end global and the global parameters will be there because uh, as per the param file format the use section should be there in the beginning and the global parameters should be there at the end and in between all the uh, mapping task related parameters should be there. So in this way uh, the table data um, will be there. Then the mapping will look like this. It will have a source, expression and a target. And um, as per the requirement we have to order the order the records based on ID so that uh, in the beginning you will have use section and in the end it will have global sections. So we will order the records based on id select param name param file from the table order by id and let's see the expression how it will look like so uh, in expression we have to use a decode function uh, to check if param name equal to use section then param uh, will be populated so what will happen param name equal to use section you can see here if param name equal to use section then param value will be loaded then at the end param value param name equal to global then this will be loaded if parameter param name not equal to use section or not equal to global then all these mapping task related param value will be populated so it's a simple decode condition i have used you can see here decode to param name use section then use section related param values will be loaded then param value will global then global uh, um, global section values will be loaded and uh, if it is not equal to use section or global then the mapping task related param values will be loaded and at the end as you know we have to go to the next row to use chr10 so in each uh, section we have uh, I have used this CHR 10 so that all values will be loaded in row wise now let's go to the mapping you can see here in the source I have used that table and I have used the connection then uh, source type as query then select param name param hal from table name order by id go to fields you can see here param name param val in expression which is very important here go to expression as i explained before we are using a decode function uh, to use the three uh, three sections one is for use section the last is for global section and the middle part is for uh, mapping task related uh, param values Similarly, the target is there, it will be generated at round time. Go to select. You 
can see here I have used that uh, create new water on time. I have mentioned the param file name. If we go to advanced, we'll see here header options, no header. Then let's go to the mapping task. So this is the mapping task, simple, no changes in this. Now run the mapping task. Go to my jobs. So it's about to start. Yeah, it's in queued mode. And now it's running. Yeah, it has completed now. You can see here in the source param table we have seven records. So all seven records have been loaded to the param file. Let's go to the path and see here the param file has been generated at 10.24. Just now it has been generated. Let's maximize this. As you can see here, the parameter file format, uh, yeah, it should start with use sections in the beginning. And at the end, it should start with global parameters. So global parameters are there. And then in between uh, the U section and global parameters, we have the parameters related to the mapping task. You can see here, uh, for that uh, stage EMP, only one parameter is there. For stage EMP1, one parameter is there, which is a little different than the previous one. And similarly for EMP2, you have two parameters, EMP3 and EMP4. The parameters have been generated. So in this way, uh, you can generate the parameter file dynamically for multiple mappings in a single parameter file. Thank you.